Hi everyone, I'm here to talk to you about building cross-platform mobile apps with Flutter. Flutter was recently announced at Google I.O. and Flutter is a way to build Android and iOS apps with one single code base. Now, I don't have to tell you why that's important. If you have a large app, if you're a single developer trying to build a mobile app, you don't want to learn Android, you don't want to learn iOS, right? And then once you build a feature for Android, you would have to go and build a feature for iOS. For a small team, for a medium team, even a large team, this can become a pain as your app goes bigger and bigger, especially when it comes down to bugs. So what Flutter promises is building really fast, super smooth, mobile apps for iOS and Android. A similar project in this space is React Native. Flutter is different from React Native is. React Native uses the current component set in iOS and Android, whereas Flutter draws its own component set. This makes sure that Flutter apps look exactly the same on both iOS and Android and behave exactly the same. So let me show you a demo of a Flutter app that's on the store right now. It's called News Voice. Uh, you'll be able to find it on the iOS store and Play Store. So what we did was we installed the News Voice app and I want to show you it's the same app on both iOS and Android. You can see the animation there. I'm going to do the same thing here. Sim exactly the same. Now one of the more interesting things about Flutter is it is adapts to the operating system you're running on. So typically on Android when I scroll down or actually yeah when I scroll down you'll see oh it loaded a lot of feed items here you'll see the blue overlay right however on iOS you usually get a bounce so eventually when you have to reload the news you can see that it adapted to the bounce the developer of this app did not have to actually program that there's no code in the app that says if iOS do elastic bounce if Android do this it flutter just takes care of that so you can go back to worrying about how to build your app now if we swipe here same functionality what's interesting is you see the smoothness this is you couldn't tell that this was an app that was not built with Java or Objective-C this is just a Flutter app right just any other regular app now what's cool is you also get all the integrations so if you click on the save tab here's a Google sign in plugin I can click continue and I'm able to sign in with Google on your device you can sign in and I'll be able to sign in there's there's no limitations to Flutter if the Flutter framework doesn't provide you something. For example, in this case, Google Sign In. You can easily find a plugin on uh, Flutter's plugin repository or just build your own. It's very simple. Yeah, you can see the animations are super smooth. I mean, it's very, very smooth. There, I. It's just an app, right? It's actually pretty boring because it's not doing anything exciting. It's just what I've come to expect. Super fast, super fluid. The animations are there. There's no jank. There's no stutter. It's just a regular mobile app that's giving me news. Thanks for watching. In the next video, I will show you how to make a simple mobile app with Flutter. Aha, you finished my video. If you would like to keep track of my channel and always get notified when I have new content coming up, you can click the subscribe button from here. Love this content, please give a thumbs up this way.